right, hello, wine-drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. And, man, we had two great producers from the south of Italy stop by in one day. A lot of exciting stuff going on in the south with uh, varietals like Aglianico, which is one of the longest-lived varietals. I mean, I remember when I bought the store, I inherited a bottle of 1968 Master Berendino Tarassi Radici, and uh, 10 years ago we opened that wine up. Man, it was like the wine was just released. Amazing how uh, the color on that wine was so dark, and the wine still had so much rich fruit. This is a grape that has the ability to age like Nothing other than Cabernet Sauvignon that I've seen. Anyways, we had a white Aglianico, which is really unique. Uh, this is Aglianico made without the skins from a winery, Cantini del Notaio, which I guess that means it's the house of the notary, which in this country, anybody can be a notary. I guess in Italy, it's a lot harder to become a notary, so it's a very noble thing to be a notary in Italy. Uh, anyways, a very unique white and uh, kind of chocolatey, minerally note to this. Uh, this one's from Basilicata. Uh, melon and plum fruit, a uh, nice amount of sweet tart fruit on the palate with a good zest and freshness on the finish, finish and that chalky minerally note showing through really good stuff. This is one for our brown bag crowd on Saturday afternoon, man. I don't know if anyone would guess Aglianico Blanco uh, for, for a white wine varietal, but you know, like I said, this is the first time I've ever had this really unique stuff. And then the uh, Lato, which is uh, an all stainless steel fermented Aglianico. All these wines are Aglianico aged Eight months in French tonneau, so a larger oak barrel, fresh cherry and red berry fruit on the nose with notes of fresh flowers, and kind of a raw steak kind of note. I love the animal you get from uh, some of these wines from Italy here. Uh, very easy drinking wine, smooth tannins, bright red cherry fruits on the tongue, really clean and refreshing style of red wine, really good stuff. Both these first two wines, 2175. And then the Aglianico La Ferma, which means the signature. Uh, these wines getting bigger at the last two, just really, I mean, awesome. I kept the glass until the end of the day four or five six hours open and these wines just continue to open up and develop lovely dark cherry fruit here some spice and earth notes on the nose some sweet herbs some dark dried meats and game like notes really good complexity here deep dark berry fruit showing on the tongue just layers of that earth and spice and firm acidity dry tannins coming in at the end but after several hours these wines really smoothing out and becoming uh, even more complex really well endowed excellent juice this La Ferma and then and the uh, Il Sigillo, uh, the seal, which uh, this wine is just awesome, man. This is a later harvest wine, harvested November uh, in 2007. So you really notice the richness in these grapes. Aged for 24 months in French Barrique and then 24 months in the bottle. And uh, really sweet and ripe fruit on the nose. Just dark cherry liqueur-like. And a host of floral and exotic spice, brown spices, or soy, Asian spices. Really complex uh, and every time you put your nose in the glass, something new and different came out of this wine. Big and chewy on the tongue, layers of exotic spice, floral notes on the finish, that brown spice showing, and a, a distinct minerality. Uh, Aglianico de Futura is the DOC. Really long and complex on the tongue. This wine needs a whole day to open up. Most excellent juice. And even though we don't have a bottle of these wines in the store, trust me, we will have them shortly, especially the last one, one of the best wines that I've had this year. All right, that's what I had to drink with Cantini del Notaio. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.